Hi everyone, in this video, I'm just gonna go over a new tool that Azoic has that you can use if you're a member uh, that's really good for when you need to update posts. So it can really help you prioritize what posts to update. Um, I think that's where it's especially useful. And also gives you some ideas about what you can update to improve your search traffic. So this video works really well in conjunction with my 15 minute SEO tip for updating articles. And I'll link to that with this video. I would go through both of them because um, this is a really useful way to really work out how to go about um, doing updates, like what might really help you and which articles need the best updates. So you can go to Niche IQ when you're logged into a Zoic. It's just a menu item. And you're going to go to this new tool called Page Booster. Now, do make sure you're connected to Google Search Console because that's what it uses to give you all this data, okay? It's really just showing you the data in, from Search Console in a way um, that is really useful to you, that would be hard to generate yourself. So I'm looking at my Philippine site. Now, it's a little bit nasty, which is why I chose this one because I haven't updated it since the site was created. Sorry about these messages. I can't get them to go away. Um, so it isn't, uh, the best site for me to look at, because if I look at this, you know, it gives you like a little breakdown of what's happening. Um, so it compares month to month, I believe page booster. So, you know, most of my articles are trending down in traffic. It's, you know, there's a reasonable chunk of stable and barely anything's trending up and some are indeterminate. Um, so they're not really sure what's happening now. Usually for me, uh, they are articles that are new and so there's nothing to compare. But yeah, so you can look here, you can see your top three pages that are improving and your bottom ones. So um, it's great to see where you're improving. You know, you can learn from that as well. But in this video, I'm going to focus on your pages that are not going as well and how you can use that information. So if you go to this page list, it's more useful. Um, so you can see your pages that are trending down, stable, trending up or indeterminate. So looking at these trending down ones, it does list them in order of what have the biggest traffic changes. So when you're working out which post to update, I would 100% consider these ones that have the biggest traffic loss, okay? Because for some reason, you know, losing 261 hits in the last month compared to the month before, you know, is quite a lot. So it's definitely worth a little look at. Um, now, it does give you more information than this, but even this is pretty useful actually to think, yep, okay, it's time to go update that, especially if you know it's an article, you know, I know, and I know this is years old and written, you know, at the start of COVID and it would be terribly out of date and it would need an update. But <laughs> beyond that, <clears throat> it could also tell you um, which keywords are bringing in um, increased traffic and which ones are bringing in decreased traffic or where you've had a bit of a position change. Now, what's useful about this is it can help you see pretty quickly whether the change in traffic is likely to be seasonal or not. Now, you can see my main keyword, my position went down 3.43 um, positions. Okay, so three and a half on average, it went down. Now, it's using Search Console data. So that means on average of all the times it was seen, it went down three and a half spots. And that led to the biggest traffic loss. So um, definitely there is a problem with the overall article, I would say. You can see other keywords too. It can give you some ideas on topics, obviously when it's your main keyword. I mean, that's what my article is about. But you can really look at some of these and think about whether you could improve the article to add it. Like, um, you know, maybe I'm not including the schedule. Well, you know, that's causing a bit of problems. People want to know about the schedule. Maybe I should make a section and add that. Okay, so you can really use these to give you some ideas of what to write about. Um, make sure you're including the keywords in your articles. Uh, but most of all, I think it's just actually really good just for prioritizing which articles to update, you know, like that this one has lost a lot of traffic, so I should go make it better, you know. I may find, like in this case, all those keywords are pretty similar. I reckon that they would be covered in that article, but I would definitely go have a look. But I think the article just needs like a general update, you know, improve it, see if there's more fairies, get the latest information, um, get the 2023 fairy schedule, like it says, all those types of things. Um, definitely you would look at when you're improving it. You definitely want to include the keyword. Um, but yeah, like I said, what it's most useful for, in my opinion, is just giving you a list of priorities. Now, those keywords are definitely dropped enough that that's not just seasonal. If you saw one where the keywords um, 
you know, the traffic change, the position change was very little. Like if they were, if they were, these were 0.06, I'd be like, well, whatever, you know, that's not really because of a change in position. It's probably just seasonal. So it can also really help you work out that um, to help you determine why that traffic loss might be. So I hope this has helped you consider going to use Page Booster. If you have access, definitely give it a bit of a look. Um, I really recommend you're always updating articles and this just gives you an easy way to get started.